I know it's been a little while, um, but at the Saints game, we didn't get a chance to talk to you afterwards, and you had made a gesture towards the camera. It appeared to um, allude to Jameis Winston beating W's. Um, can <laughs> yeah. you just kind of speak to what your thought process was behind that? Uh, I know some people may have taken issue with it because it was shortly after he was injured, but, mm. but what was your thought process there? Yeah, I think a lot of people took that the wrong way. Um, it was something I talked about even leading up into practice that um, I was going to eat a W because I thought it would just be funny. But um, – he ended up getting hurt, and then people were like, oh, he was doing that because he had just got hurt. But it wasn't anything like that. No, malicious intent behind it. Um, I hope he has a, a great recovery. But um, there was no malicious intent behind it. I just thought it would be a funny thing to do. Antoine, Washington has some pretty good receivers in the backfield and out wide. First of all, what are you guys going to be able to do to contain that? And second of all, you got McLaurin yourself. Which, I'm sorry, what you say the last part? <laughs> um, we got uh, some mixed up coverages in there, so I'll I'll be on them a little bit. Um, but our goal is just to make sure we contain them, um, make sure we're disciplining our zone drops, and just making sure we're doing everything top down. Back to that that um, the gesture towards the camera. Can you see why people were kind of upset about it? Or I'm sure they were hounding you on social media. I know I heard a bunch of it, but. Can you see why they were a little upset about that? Yeah, yeah, I can see why. But um, like I said before, there was no malicious intent. I said I was going to do that even before he got hurt and during like the um, during the practices and things like that, just to just to be funny. And um, it was no malicious intent behind it. And that's kind of part of your game, right? I mean, everybody remembers this: the the deuces um, during the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. um, just like what what does that kind of do for you when you kind of get to have a little bit of fun like that and make gestures towards the camera and you know, just be animated like that. I mean, that really seems to be part of your game. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, you know, when you make a play, you get excited, and it's um tough with the, you know, taunting rules and things like that. So you kind of got to do it away from people. You got to do it towards the camera. So, I mean, that's just uh, the only way I know how to do it without getting fined and getting penalized. So. Creative. Yeah. Antoine, what are the biggest differences you see between the Washington team you guys faced in the first round of the playoffs and what you'll have to um, I would say a more confident team. You know, that was uh, the quarterback's first start, and he had a great game when we played him. But um, having he's more comfortable now um, with all the starts this year. And um, I feel like that's probably the biggest difference, just having him out there moving around. But um, I feel like this time it was good for us to see that because last, last year we weren't planning on him coming in here doing what he could do. And so um, I feel like that's a different thing, being able to prepare for him. What's been the mindset you – are you looking forward to maybe, you know, getting a little revenge? You won the game, but getting revenge and also coming off a loss and then having the bye week. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yeah. the, what, what, what have you noticed the mindset with you guys? Yeah, just to respond, um, you know, just to come in and continue to put the work in every day, um, regardless of what the outcome was um, uh, in the Saints game, just to come back here and just continue to work because, you know, we got a, a nice stretch ahead of us and um, just come out here and continue to get better and go out there and win games. Yeah, it's um great seeing him out there and um being able to play with him. Um he's a breath of fresh air, um and he's a great player, so it's fun having him out there. You guys have faced mobile quarterbacks, so this isn't gonna be something new for you this week, but just how you know, going up against different guys, Jalen Hurts another example, how does that kind of prepare you for, for being able to or, you know, facing Taylor Heineke again? Well, for me personally, um I mean, like for the secondary, we have to be more disciplined in our drops and um, staying with our guys in coverage. You know, you have a scrambling uh, quarterback, you know, it just makes our job a little bit harder because we have to cover a little bit longer. So um, that's, uh, from my perspective, that's the hardest thing for us to do. What's it like going into a bye week like that where you, know, you guys haven't lost very much since winning the Super Bowl twice? Um, when you can't get back out there, you know, just a couple of days later to start mm. practicing again, what is it like kind of having to sit with a loss like that? Yeah, it just stings a little bit more because you're sitting, in, sitting on it a little bit longer. You know, if we didn't have the bye, we would already play it already and um, kind of get our minds off of that. But, you know, with the bye, we got to just sit and think like, oh, man, it's one of those games that I think we should have won. But um, it just sucks just thinking about that and letting it marinate throughout the whole bye week. Like guys are getting healthy. You might have Sean back. It sounds mm -hmm. like Sherm, you know, his hamstring is better. Mm -hmm. Health has been such a big thing for you guys in the secondary. You haven't yeah. had a consistent group of performers. What's it going to mean to finally, or at least get some semblance of health back and, and some semblance of continuity back in that group? Yeah, I mean, I feel like this bye week came at a perfect time, allowed some people to get healthy and, um, you know, rest up. 
And, um, you know, getting everybody back is just going to be uh, great having everybody there. You know, a lot of injuries, but um, it's been fun out there. And, you know, we're going to continue to work together and um, get better.